was a great win for our, our, our ball club. Um, you know, Georgia owns one of the best wins the SEC has. Their win last Saturday at Memphis, and then in the first half, they go in the locker room with a pretty good lead on Kentucky. Um, so they're a good team. Uh, obviously, you know they got my full attention, um, and uh, you know Hammonds is playing with great confidence. Obviously, Anthony Edwards is a guy you got a really game plan for. I think Gresham settles them down a little bit. They're athletic. Um, I guess the one piece they probably don't have is they don't have on Austin Wiley. If they had a, a big guy in there anchoring a little bit more, I think they'd have all the pieces to be right there. Uh, but Tom has changed the culture. He's changed the energy. Um, and uh, But it's going to be a grind. You know, every night it's going to be like that. Uh, we go on the road uh, next week, and, and we got to play better to win those games, um, starting at Alabama on Wednesday. I want to thank our crowd uh, for you know showing up uh, and, and, and uh, we'll be willing to weather the storm. Uh, uh, thank them for hanging us with us when we weathered the storm to start the game. We didn't play very well, weren't very sharp. Um, and uh, just appreciate everybody's support and understanding of why we had to make this move for the safety of all of our fans, the team that's traveling, Georgia traveling in, now they can get out and hopefully get moving down the road out of, out of harm's way. Um, uh, but uh, look, anytime you beat uh, Georgia and you're coaching at, Al at Auburn, that's the, it matters. Bruce, talk about your bench t today. Bench was terrific. Uh, best, probably the best the bench played. Um, you know, we got four threes from between Allen and, and Jamal. Uh, we got really good defensive rotations. Uh, the, the numbers are, speak for themselves. Uh, we out-rebounded Georgia. They're one of the better rebounding teams in our league, and we did a good job. We could have done better. I wasn't happy with some of the things that we were doing out there. We, a lot of wasted possessions. Um, but uh, you know, particularly in the first half. Um, uh, but Anthony and Allen and Jamal were terrific. And when they start playing like that, that bench starts playing like that, we got a chance to be a very good ball club. Coach, a big thing about your, about your team is just the winning streak. Uh, Georgia came in, came in here and said that they want to be the first team to beat you. But how? what has impressed you the way this group has handled not yeah. only playing to your standard, but the, the winning streak? Well, I, I, we absolutely knew that Georgia could beat us. Um, that's how we felt. And I'm, I'm no, it's interesting. Um, for me, I'm about trying to get better. And, like, how are we going to guard Anthony Edwards? How are we going to guard Hammonds if he steps out? How are we going to keep, you know, the, the, the little kid Wheeler out of the lane? And um, I do know, I would imagine, if I was on the other side, I'd be looking at the target on Arvin's head and think, hey, let's be the first one. To be. But I don't, I'm, not even, I'm not even looking at our record or the streak. I'm looking at Vanderbilt, then Georgia, and I'm looking at Alabama. That's real stuff. That's not just coach talk. Um, but you're right. I got to anticipate what's going on in the other locker room. In the other locker room, Alabama's going to say it's, it's, it's a rivalry game, but it's also an opportunity to uh, to break our streak. Our, our, our streak for us, right? We're going to get beat. Uh, we're going to get beat. <laughs> um, I would like not to lose. I'd like when we do get beat, it's because they take it to us, and uh, so hasn't happened yet. Bruce, what was, the, what was the plan to slow down Edwards and how effective you get the guys thought? Um, <laughs> the easiest answer was Isaac Okoro. Um, they're both great players. Isaac impacts winning so much because he can do it on the offensive end and he's willing to do it on the defensive end. He likes it. I thought Alan Flanagan stepped up physically also. And we had two really good freshmen that um, know, know who Anthony Edwards is. I really like the young man. I really like Edwards. He's a hard worker. He's humble. He's hungry. He trains like a pro. Going to be a pro. Um, and so I know our guys were excited about playing him and excited about playing Georgia. How impressed were you with Cora though, in a game where he didn't have a ton of impact shooting the ball, but, but did a lot everywhere else? Yeah, he did. I mean, he, he just, here's the deal, he just lets the game come to him. He does, and uh, um, we, we were able to win tonight without a lot of offense from him. 
but uh, I, you know, I've got to look at the tape and see where we could have done a better job of executing. I just made a lot of empty possessions, played better defensively than we did, you know, offensively. Got to do a better job of feeding the post. Got to do a better job of throwing it. We're open down in there. Just got to do a better job of that. So, um, Coach Crane mentioned your team's got a lot of mental toughness. And they don't let uh, bad offensive possessions affect defense. Talk about that. Yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, we try when we struggle offensively, miss shots or turn it over. Just try and understand what our identity is and uh, make every possession count. Um, like, like Coach Belichick has been known to say, it's not whether you can, it's whether you will. So, so far we have. <coughs> Coach, uh, how did you feel about Samir Dowdy's night tonight, especially shooting the ball after you had shot the ball quite a bit last yep, night? Yep, Samir shot off the bounce a little bit, had a little rhythm to, uh, to, his, to his shooting. I think, I think he gets off when he is, is, is it plays you know, in a more complete game. Uh, we, we, we knew that Georgia would not press up too much, kind of let him tempt him to shoot a little bit. And for me, when he's in those situations, I want guys on the back side going to rebound for him so that he has the confidence to go ahead and take those shots. So it was good. Look, we're going to be a much better team if we can make nine threes a night. You know? And we, we the last couple of games, I think we've had five. So we, we, we're better when we shoot it. I can tell you right now, we're going to go to Alabama play against one of the best shooting teams in the country. I mean, they're, they're able to have more threes made in the first 10 minutes than we make in the game.